Welcome back everyone. Happy Friday. What's old is new again. Use what you have and transform your items into something totally different. Take a look at these easy tips for upcycling from DIY expert Bianca White. Bianca, welcome. Hi, Thank you guys for having me. I'm super excited. I am super Thank excited you. to see what you have in store for us. But yes. first, for anyone out there who's watching, let's give them simple tips, tricks, right. so to speak, for upcycling. Absolutely. So 90% of my home is actually upcycled furniture and decor. Yes. Awesome. So, so quick personal tips that I use myself. If you're looking for a project to upcycle, definitely stop by your local thrift store or you can wake up early Saturday morning and go garage sale hunting or one of my favorite ways to look for stuff to upcycle is looking at online marketplace boards like Facebook Market yes. and apps like OfferUps. Wow, yeah. incredible. And wait till you see what she has in store yes. for us, including this first yes. project. Uh, such a cute basket for drugs. Yes, rugs. so this is our blanket basket right here. This is super easy to make and it looks like it came out of some home decor store. It really does. Yeah, it really does. It looks great. So you start this project with a simple laundry bin, any store. You can even use an old trash can. Okay. Oh, yep. an old trash can an as well. An old trash can, yep. Okay. And you want to make sure you have some pretty thick rope. Got it. You'll need a glue gun. We got that. I and have mine. Yes. Okay. I know you guys are like, wait a minute, but yes. I do. And you'll also need fabric. The fabric is optional, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Terrific. And some scissors to cut. And scissors to cut your cord, okay. to cut your rope or cord. Yep. So you will start off with your rope. You will turn your basket upside down. Got it. You already got it started, yep. so thank you. Yep. And so this basket is halfway done, but to start it off, you would start up here. Sure. At the bottom of your basket. Yep. Okay. And you would start by adding your first dot of hot glue. And you would just apply your rope, hold it down for just a second. And you just continue, continue to wrap it around. around. And about every five inches, you want to add another dot of your hot glue. Sure. And you literally just continue this process all the way down the basket until it's completely full. Okay, terrific. Yep. And um, how long will it take to dry usually? So it dries instantly. Oh, instantly. Yeah, this Excellent. dries, hot glue dries instantly. I mean, yeah. I knew that. I knew that. What am I saying? I <laughs> uh, uh, wasn't used to working with rope. No, so it pretty much, it, yes. when, when you're done, yep. flip it over and you're ready to go. Yep. And I love this cute, of course, we have yes. this fabric right here. Yes. If you guys can get a shot of yes. that. But really, the sky's the limit depending on your decor. The decor. sky is the limit yes so cute and in this case yes. for this I have one bumblebee you yes cute. I love bumblebees I know yes. me too. so just put it in here <laughs> yep you just stuff your fabric right down in there Got and it. any excess fabric that's hanging outside of the basket you just want to take your scissors and you just want to cut right around it cut it off yep and once you get to the right length you'll take your glue gun yep and you'll just line it and just tuck it under. And just tuck it right up under there. Okay, not only is this cute and inexpensive, but yes. it seems like it's actually very uh, yes. quick to make. It is very quick to awesome. make. Awesome. Yes. Okay, I happen to see before this segment yes. a little picture of me and my family. Yes. What are we making here? So these are photo coasters, and I think that these are such a nice way to add a personalized touch to your home. Wait a minute, are those some more? Up those are more. Okay, can I keep these? You can definitely I mean, can keep nobody these. else would really want them, so <laughs> these are adorable. Okay, you definitely can keep So these. what do we need for this project? So for this project, you'll need old tile or an old coaster. You will need Mod Podge, which is basically just a very heavy um, adhesive glue. Got it. Yep. You'll also need four by six photos, and you'll cut those to the size of whatever coaster you're using. Terrific. Yep. And then what about this acrylic spray? Is that going to seal it yes. all in? Yes. So Got you'll it. need acrylic spray, and yep, like you said, that will seal it in. Okay. So actually, you want to start with your photo. Oh, you wanna, yes. See? You want to flip your photo I over. I jumped the gun here. <laughs> She's like, Christine. Yep. Go ahead and put a heavy layer of Mod heavy Podge layer. on Got there. Got it. Yep. Okay. That should be pretty, yeah, pretty good, right. a little more. Yeah, but then you don't want to mess up the picture Perfect. for you too yep. much. And you place it, it right on top. And that's okay if there's Mod Podge on top, because we're going to put some more right on top of there anyways. Oh, yep. you are. Yep. So okay. give that a quick second, and you'll add another heavy layer of Mod Podge right on top. So right now, this looks white, and it looks like just glue. But if you give it a little while, this will dry, and it'll be completely clear, and your coaster will be ready to use. And like we said earlier, you can add this, your acrylic spray, as extra sealant at the end. Okay, look how cute this is. You're yes. blowing my mind with the speediness of these projects. Yes. I love it. Yes. And so cute. And, and just so like cute. a personal touch. A personal touch. And your guests will definitely talk about it. It's yeah. definitely a conversation piece. So, yep, yeah, give that about an hour to dry and you'll be good to go. Okay, awesome. Yep.
Yep. And this last project, this so last adorable. project, yes, this is my favorite project. So this is the tiered serving tray, and this is super easy to make, and it can be used for all type of purposes. You can use this as a fruit tray, a serving tray, or a crafting supply storage tray. Got it. Yep. And it looks like something you'd buy at the store if you yes. guys could get a shot of that. It's so so yes. pretty. Yes. Yes. Um, and again, it looks like something that might cost yes. fifty dollars. Yes. You know, yes. if you go to a, a fine home goods store. And they actually are fifty dollars. Yes. Yes. Okay. So for this project, you'll need three different size cake pans. You'll need a small, you'll need a medium, and you'll need a large. Right. You'll need two candle holders. You'll also need paint if you want to add paint to your cake pan. Okay. You can leave them as is if you would like to. Got it. And you'll need E6000 glue. So before assembling your tray, you want to make sure that you're painting it ahead of time if you choose to paint it. I chose to use chalk paint for more of a rustic look. Got it, yeah. got it. Yeah. Okay, and so really, where do you get these two? Like, um, so, you know, I, going flea market hunting, yes, that kind of thing. Yes, even, even if you have some laying around, and you really don't even need to use candle holders as long as you have some type of pedestal, but candle holders just have a really nice shape to them. Okay, perfect. Yep. And yep. so the glue, you want to do this last one? Yes. As I so, make sure and tell everyone where they can find all the information on you. Yep, so you will just line the bottom of your candle holder with your E6000 glue. Make sure the rim is pretty covered. And how long will this take? Just give it... <sighs> Probably about less than 10 seconds. And you just try to center it right there in that medium pan as much as you can. Center it right there in the middle. You'll add a little more glue to the top of that candle holder, and you are pretty much done. I love all of these great tips and advice, and if you'd like more upcycling tips and tricks, simply visit her online at BiancaOctavia.co. That's BiancaOctavia.co.